waste in Europe is generated along an entire value chain from the field to the plate. It includes crops that are harvested and then abandoned, blemished fruits and vegetables that nobody wants, plus all the waste caused by overproduction. What's more, many foods simply lose their freshness on their long journey to the customer and are thrown away because they are past their best. With so much abundance available throughout the year, many people have lost their appreciation for food. Yet, every time we discard food, leftovers or kitchen waste, we cause lasting damage to our environment through the unnecessary consumption of resources. Yet, it's actually not that hard to adopt a more responsible approach to food. At home, in the office service sector, in hotels, in communal catering and in industry. One company that specializes in finding smart solutions for sustainable food waste treatment is Mako Green Waste Solutions. Patrick Hoffman is the CEO and co-founder of this startup which launched its services in 2018 under the umbrella of the Mako Group. Mako Green tackles food waste from hotels, food service, communal catering and retailers. The machines we have developed can process food waste directly at its source. Patrick Hoffman used to work in the hotel and food industry himself. He was constantly faced with the issue of food waste and realized he could not longer accept seeing so much of it carelessly discarded. The startup now has 50 dedicated employees who all share the commitment to the same cause. So, we got together this crazy bunch of people who really believe in this issue and are determined to do something about it. That's why we've been able to set benchmarks in the industrial and mechanical methods used to process food waste, achieving things that nobody else has managed. The company's food waste treatment systems provide hygienic, economical and eco-friendly solutions for collecting, grinding up and storing food waste. This can then be turned into a sustainable energy source. The company's Biomaster system was originally deployed in residential and care homes, but it has since been adopted by an increasing number of larger customers, including a well-known Swedish furniture brand. This store is not far from Zurich. Steven Schlager has been in charge of the company's sustainability strategies since 2018. We have a comprehensive sustainability strategy that sets out the positive effects we want to have on people and the planet. We are aware of how much responsibility we have based on the amount of goods we produce, and that means we're responsible for dealing with our waste properly. We recycle our organic waste as well as the other types of waste we produce. Our goal is to put 100% of our waste to productive use by 2030, either by recycling it or turning it into new products. Between 7,000 and 9,000 customers visit the store on a typical day, many of whom are hungry. Staff in the kitchen prepare up to 1,200 meals a day to meet this demand. Of course, this creates a lot of organic waste, in part because almost all the products they use are fresh. The Swiss team in the store already has a smart system in place to help them produce less organic waste in the future. Food waste is collected in a separate container where it is weighed and categorized. That means the employees indicate what kind of waste it is and why it was produced. In other words, whether it stems from the food preparation process or from overproduction. In future, we'll also be able to measure the leftovers people leave on their plates. By collecting these figures, we can determine how to avoid food waste going forward. Previously, this store, like most businesses, simply disposed of organic waste in the organics recycling bin. That was a costly method that wasn't necessarily very hygienic. But the Offenburg-based company came up with a simple and ingenious way to do things differently. Kitchen waste, plus any leftovers from customer plates, is collected in a special container and then simply tipped into the Biomaster where it is crushed and ground up into a homogeneous slurry. The system we have now is fully automatic. Once the waste enters the machine, it is conveyed through pipes to the tank. Even the message saying that it's time to empty the tank is automated. This obviously saves a lot of time. It's much more efficient and clearly much more hygienic. 
This tank can hold up to 10,000 liters of food waste. Previously, the organic recycling bins had to be collected on a daily basis. Now, all that's required is a visit from a suction truck once every six to eight weeks to pump the liquid slurry out of the tank. Mako Green provides its services to around 120 to 150 new customers a year, a sign of the steadily increasing demand for these kinds of systems. Every single Biomaster machine is built by hand here at the Offenburg site. The company is proud of the quality of its German-made products. It's important to us to have control over the whole process. We want to be the ones who decide what products we sell and what goes into our products. Obviously, Germany's status as an industrial hub is the key to the kind of innovations we want to develop. We promote the concept of German manufacturing because it's so incredibly important to how our company will evolve and how we will develop our systems in the future. Biomaster machines are designed to operate for 15 to 20 years. That requires maximum precision. Six weeks of work go into each machine before it leaves the factory. It all starts with a piece of sheet metal that is cut to size by a laser. To build the loading chute, workers bend the individual parts into the correct shape and then weld them neatly together. The grinder, motors, pumps and electrics are then installed in the body of the machine. A machine cannot leave the hallowed hall until it has passed a quality inspection. If everything is in order, it is packed and prepared for transport, ready to help another customer meet their sustainability goals. When people find their niche and adopt the mindset that their business should be sustainable and cost-effective, we can provide the right technology and systems to help create the best overall package. The liquid food waste that the suction tanker collected from the furniture store is now transported to the nearest biogas plant for further processing. This plant receives up to 500 tons of food waste a week. Werner Humble founded the company Recycling Energy AG back in 2009. We basically run our business along three separate lines. One is food service. The second line is waste from retailers like supermarkets and that contains a bit of everything, so it's a lot more effort. The third line is much less complicated. The good thing about liquid waste we get from Biomaster systems is that it's clean enough to pump straight into our biogas plant. All we have to do is heat it. It's easy to see why processing supermarket waste is so complex. For example, this machine contains not only food waste, also plenty of other things, mostly packaging materials. The first job is to crush and to shred everything. Next, the machine automatically removes any unwanted foreign materials and pumps the biomass into tanks for further processing. Waste from the food service sector poses plenty of problems too. It arrives at the plant in heavy, unwieldy refuse bins. This marks the end of a long and unhygienic journey for these bins. The first job is to grind up their contents and, just like with the other waste, to remove any foreign materials. Then, the bins are cleaned ready to be returned to the customer. It's a very different story with a liquid slurry from our waste treatment system. The food waste is simply pumped directly into huge storage tanks, eliminating all other steps in the process. Next comes a process known as hygienization. This involves heating the food waste to 70 degrees Celsius in a spiral heat exchanger and keeping it at this temperature for one hour to kill any germs. Finally, the organic waste is digested in huge fermenters. It takes about 30 days for enough gas to form. The fermentation residue is returned to the fields as natural fertilizer, thereby closing the loop. The plant feeds the biogas directly into the grid. In our case, around two-thirds of the biogas is converted into electricity, enough to supply some 5,000 homes with green energy. The remaining third is fed into the natural gas grid in form of biogas, which is used by around 2,000 homes for cooking, heating and so on. Mako Green provides customers with the smart technology they need to recycle food waste in an economical and eco-friendly manner. And they're already busy working on new ideas. 
In the future, the important thing will not only be to dispose of the waste, but also to perform recycling directly at the waste source so that we can really close the loop. That's our vision. If we eventually get to the point where we can say, look, we can offer you this compact biogas plant so you can recycle the food waste directly at its source, converting it into energy that can be fed straight back to the waste producer, that would certainly be the ideal solution. Resource-efficient processes are the answer to challenges such as climate change and the finite nature of fossil fuels. Systems such as those offered by this Offenburg-based company highlight the potential of new sources of raw materials in the future. And they remind us that even waste can be worth its weight in gold.